Is your mic just sitting on the desk or maybe you have a very weak boom arm that can't really hold your mic well? If that is the case for you, then I have the perfect solution. It's the Toner T90 boom arm that I'm gonna review today and show you guys everything that it has. Huge thanks to Toner for sending me out this boom arm to review. So you guys are gonna have a discount code in the description and get you about 10% off if you wanna buy it. So yeah, and without any further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, well, that transition was definitely awful, but here we have this beautiful box, and of course, inside of this is the Toner Z90 boom arm. So I'm gonna grab a little utensil and we're gonna chop this thing open. All right, and picking this thing up, here we are going to see <sighs> Toner T90 Boom Arm. Just so you guys know, this boom arm quite literally like just released. It is the newest model that Toner has because I previously bought like a Toner T20. The thing is like brand new. Of course, we have this USB-C to USB. This is probably gonna use it to plug in for the RGB of the boom arm. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but we're gonna see. Then right here, we have the stand. So this is gonna go directly on the desk to clamp down. And this is going to be what the boom arm actually sits inside of. So it's kind of like the stand. Over here. This is the clamp, if you guys can see here. Right there is this beautiful clamp that's gonna go on the underside of the desk to sit there and you know, get, get the good grip. As we can see, the clamp is kind of similar, but it, this one is definitely a lot more sturdy. This carries a lot of weight to it and I can tell it's great. It has grip on the bottom, so you know it's not gonna slip anywhere. And this thing has none, it kind of just sits there. There's definitely a lot of little upgrades in this Toner T90 model because it's way better than these older ones. Also, I forgot to mention, but this boom arm literally has RGB. Like it lights up when you plug it in, which is I think is super, super fire. So stay tuned for a little bit. When I'm gonna plug it in, you guys are gonna see what it looks like and see that cool RGB. Back over to the box saying we have finally the stand just look look how gorgeous this boom arm is I love the weight on this thing. It's so heavy. It's probably like three pounds, 1.5 kilograms if you're talking like that. But yeah, this is what you're going to receive. So of course you're going to have the boom arm. Of course you're gonna have the stand so this can actually sit inside of it. And then you're gonna have the clamp that you can actually put on your desk, kind of very, very similar to over there. And then finally, you're gonna have the USB-C to USB adapter, which I'm sure is gonna be a plug in here somewhere for the RGB. All right, y'all, it's time to install this boy. So we're gonna take off the old one. We're gonna see what this looks like. Finally. Finally got it off. That took so long, bro. My fingers, look at my fingers. So now what we're literally going to do is just unscrew this thing. Oh, keep in mind it's on there tight because you know, it has to be. All right, you guys, I finally, finally got this off. And as you can see, I mean, that's, I got torn up a little bit. I kind of had to rip it off, but it was pretty, it was on there pretty tight. That, that's at least it was secure, you know? But that means we can now install the new boom arm. Also, the Tono T20 that I had, it's honestly a pretty decent boom arm for the price. So if you want something a little bit cheaper, go for that. But the one that I'm about to show you guys, you can get for $70 with the code and it's definitely gonna be worth it. So the first thing you're going to do is actually take the stand here and then take the clamp right here. And then you're just gonna find this hole on the stand and go and boom. Then you go ahead and you find a spot for the clamp. Mine's pretty much gonna go at the same exact spot and then just adjust the bottom piece so it can actually clamp on. Then from there, you just wanna take it and start tightening it up. Make sure it's obviously steady here. So I can't really do that with one hand. Also the bottom piece should actually click in. So make sure you put it into the stand firmly. Like on my old one here, you see we, if we take it out like this, we can just push it off. You actually have to put it in just like this. It's not gonna work, but you actually have to insert it firmly. Now we are going to grab the boom arm, come over and get ready to place it in the stand. Some heavy noted stuff right here. here go. Sure it clicks tighten it up with this little nub right here and then place it exactly how you want it right there as you guys can see is going to be where we plug in the USB-C cable to get the rgb so we go grab that and 
Probably my only critique so far is the fact that that USB-C cable was pretty difficult to actually get in. I had to take it out of the stand and it took me like probably 10 minutes or so to get it in. It was just not cooperating. It's pretty hard to like lodge that thing all the way down in there. But if you can make that a little bit closer, I think that'd be a lot cleaner. But all in all, it's kind of just a minor detail that I wouldn't think really matter. Anyway, let's take it back now and put it back in the stand. We just plugged that boy in and then... That is nice, y'all. We're gonna flip the lights off in a second, but that is so clean. I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble my mic real quick and then we're gonna slap it on. All right, y'all, look how clean this gorgeous boom arm is. You guys need to pick this thing up. I'm probably gonna get, oh my God, what did I just do? Is that, is that touchscreen lighting? Oh my, that is so cool. I didn't even know I had that. You can literally tap the symbol at the top to change the form of lighting that it has, bro. That is the sickest thing I think I've ever seen. There's so many different modes. Okay, look, there's purple. There's solid colors or any kind of solid colors you want. You can have red, of course, orange, green. That's actually green. That was yellow. And then there's rainbow. And then you can go through all of these. You can go through the pulse color. This is kind of a fade thing where it's going to change between all the different colors. And then this is like a smooth kind of RGB thingy. And then, yeah, there's solid colors. That is so cool. Like I said, guys, if you want to go ahead and pick up this boom arm, 10% off link in the description. Go ahead, click that off, order it. Boom, you're going to have that beauty just like that on your desk too. That purple match is nice. But aside from all of the actual cool RGB and stuff, there's some actual great features in this boom arm that you guys may or may not see already. It has these gray spaces for cable routing if you would like to route this thing right into your mic. The stand itself is very, very high quality, so you do not need to worry about it getting weaker over time. The stand moves very well. The only problem is getting it down and up. It's just a little bit stiff, so you know, it's gonna be a little bit harder to move, and since it carries so much weight, it's very sturdy, so it's a little bit difficult to move. But once you start moving it more and more, it's gonna start breaking in, which will be a lot easier to move it. For me personally, I think it's decently easy to move it up and down wherever I want it. I can scoot it aside and I just pull it up. So for me, it's really not that difficult, and I don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue. Like we already talked about, the tap for different RGB button, that is just awesome the clamp on the bottom is very sturdy it's high quality materials used to make it and i do not need to worry about that falling off or wearing down the boom arm says it's compatible for mics such as the hyperx quadcast the sure sm7b and the blue yeti the actual screw to connect the boom arm to the mic is a 5 8 screw so make sure if you have a mic without that you want to get either an adapter or you want to make sure that you can get a mic that's going to support 5 8 screw overall it's an amazing boom arm for the price it's sturdy and it even competes with things such as that blue compass so if you're looking into boom arm and you got about 70 bucks to spare you know what to get. I'll show some final clips of the boom arm in my setup so that way you guys can just see how fire it is. Once again, huge thanks to Toner for sending out this mic to me and I hope you guys like this video. All right, y'all, here's that boom arm. Three, two, one.